get up on our website the link to that so people can look at it. And, go ahead, Bill. And there's some YouTube, uh, real quick uh, videos of it too to see how it works. But Anthony, uh, tell us all about it. You <laughs> well, got 10 minutes. All right. Uh, well, we, uh, we invented this uh, to meet a need for handicapped people. And it turned into much more than that. It, uh, we worked with children, seniors, uh, arthritis, bad shoulders. Uh, you name the element, we worked at it or worked with it and got them back to bowling. So uh, after about four years of working with it, we decided to take it real serious and, and launch a business. And we've been just enjoying it, helping people. And um, one exciting thing that did happen uh, this year was the USBC sanctioned it for use in leagues and tournaments. So then all of a sudden I started practicing really hard with it and uh, come January I'm gonna join the league again. It's been about seven years so um, just showing people that you know just because you have an injury or um, you know anything that's keeping you from bowling there's a there's an alternative. Yeah, and, you were saying earlier this was a matter of invention by yourself yeah. is I mean you don't have to be totally handicapped, you just had a wrist problem. That's right. And you kind of played around. Well, I, I guess we can tell the story of your left-handed adventure. <laughs> yeah, well it involves uh, two feet in the air trying to bowl left-handed um, and taking a leg out and just sitting there pouting. So, uh, you know, just the way my mind works, I had to uh, I had to come up with something because not bowling wasn't an option for me. You know, it was a family event. Uh, it was something that I did, you know, as a sport. So, you know, it's the American way. You, you find a way. Now, obviously, this is a finished product. This isn't, I'm sure, what you first thought of. <laughs> oh, no. There were some prototypes along the oh, way yes. that worked and didn't work. Yeah, yeah. Um, my partner, Dean Bonador, over at uh, Dean's Custom Sheet Metal, he's, uh, he's just a wizard with all these things. So he was he was able to take my nasty version and just make it beautiful and then um, you know we made uh, a couple more connections and next thing you know we had a mold done and patents going and you know just a, it's just a beautiful work of art now. You know they're anodized for all the guys out there and uh, they come in custom wraps. You can change the cup colors, change the wheels, you can customize it for yourself and uh, you know, the main thing about this is when I bowl with it, I don't feel handicapped. I don't feel like I'm using a handicapped device or, or anything like that. If anything, everyone wants to know what I'm doing and they want to try it. So, and it doesn't give it to you. You have to, you have to pay attention and you have to, you know, go through the motions just like anybody else. If you're off to the left, off to the right, if your steps are off or anything like that, you know, it shows it. So, you have to pay attention. You have to bowl right and, you know, just like everyone else. So, it's a lot of fun. It's it's addicting. Every time we go out, it's you know you have to pull them out of people's hands almost. Yeah. So you can either stand at the follow line, like using a mm -hmm. ramp, and use this as almost like a cane is what it looks like. Right. And just kind of shuffle it down the lane. Yeah. Or we see in the videos, you can go through a regular approach and let the wheels kind of guide it along. And yeah. You can throw strikes. We saw. Oh one. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. We can also pick three off either corner just as easily. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You uh, you know, you have all the aiming you know, capabilities. You know, as if you're holding the ball yourself. So uh, you know, greater ball speed. You know, I went from using a six-pound ball um, when I was originally injured, and now I'm up to a twelve-pound ball. So you know, it's actually rehabilitating uh, my shoulder, my my hand, um, just in in having fun. So uh, it's. It's just an amazing product. It's now. Does it work better with a lighter weight ball or a heavier weight ball? Um, no, not at all. So and any weight can can work. Uh, house balls. Obviously, there's not going to be a whole lot of axis rotation on the ball. No. But have we got any extremes that have tried to hook the ball with this thing yet? Um, well, with this one here, you can you can have a ball that's designed to curve, and you can set the the uh, finger holes in a, in a particular place oh, and come sorry. at it, right, or to the side and come at the, the lane from an angle and just by pushing it down it'll, you know, start its rotation, you know, but not as drastic as someone who has the ball in their hand. But uh, for future knowledge we do have a curveball application coming which actually spins the ball and, you know, releases it and it comes out of the gate spinning. 
So it's like a mini Earl. Oh yeah. So you know we have a few, you know, uh, future. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Products. You know, a few future products that have uh, different capabilities, and uh, you know we're excited about that. So you know, for you curveballers out there, we got something coming for you soon. So. And with these new bowling balls too, with the weight blocks in it. Yeah, it's just kind of like we used to with the kids is to get the ball to go as straight, and they just kind of straddle on it. The original two-handed delivery is put the finger holes on top. If you put the finger holes on the side. There's probably some top weight still left in the ball, and if it's slow enough, anything's going to hook. Oh, okay. yeah, with the weight blocks alone. Yeah, get it in the right place and, and kind of adjust it, kind of the weight towards the top. So if it spares, if you want to throw straighter, that'll work like that. And yeah. you may be able to do some more bowling yet. Sure, yeah. and then with speed, you don't need a lot of speed. No. It's Domino's effect. It, it's accuracy. But I'm still putting it down at 13, 14. 15, 16, 17 miles an hour. Yeah. So it goes down. Nice. Yeah. And that's more than m many people bowl at. I mean, you see a lot of 10s and 11s. Mm -hmm. And maybe with this, they can pick up a little bit of speed where they haven't been able to get a good arm swing. I can sit in a chair, you know, right at the, the lane's edge and just shove the ball down accurately, might I add, um, and still get greater than five miles per hour. You know, we work with people in wheelchairs. I mean, that's so what I was looking at. Absolutely, that's mm -hmm. what I was looking at. Make sure you put that up a little bit. On a, yeah, there you go. Yeah, if you're in a, that's what I meant for speed. If you're in a wheelchair, you know, you're not going to get a lot of speed on the ball, but you don't really need it. Right. Right. So, yeah. it's very interactive. You know, it gives you a, a greater level. You just feel like you're doing more rather than the ramp. So, you know, not that the ramp. We love the ramp. It's it's. It has its purpose, but for me, I want more interaction. I want to feel like I'm bowling. So, and what... a lot of times, there are these ups and down handicap uh, wheelchair tournaments where the ups can actually sit in a wheelchair and try to bowl. And it is not as easy as it looks. You no. know, I, the chair's going to be moving around, you're going to be banging your arm into the wheel, and for those that are maybe just starting in wheelchair, this is going to be a great way to maybe start getting back into the game again. Oh yeah, that's what we're hoping. Now what's the wheels made of? Did you mention that? They're a polyurethane. So, so it's not going to be marking up the approaches at all, or because that would probably be a concern, I would assume. You know, especially with other bowlers, if uh, it's leaving marks and you know all of a sudden they're sticking. Right. The, uh, the cup is a urethane, uh, pretty much the same as the wheels. Uh, the handle, you know, has a, a you know a rubber handle on it. So if you drop this, you know, it's not going right. to dent, it's not going to ding, not going to scratch. You know, the bowling alleys actually love us. It's they have no problems with the product. So as a matter of fact, uh, Pen Chasers. I don't know if you if you're familiar mm -hmm. with Pen Chasers yeah. in yeah, Tampa and Zebra Hills. Relocation in the Tampa Bay area. Yes, mm -hmm. um, they are offering our products. Uh, you know, behind the counter, just like the ramp. You know, there's no rental fees or anything like that, and uh, they're having a lot of success with it and a lot of fun. Um, we've been working with their senior leagues and uh, the disabled children and, you know, just having a blast. So, you know, I want to give them a bunch of kudos for giving us a chance and putting us behind the counter, and we've just grown ever since. It's been wonderful. Now, what's the website? Our website is equalizerbowlingap.com. It's going to be posted by the end of this week. It's one of those things that's... Under construction. Yes. So by the end of this week, it'll be up. So sequelizerbowlingap.com. If people want to order, can they order it on the phone? Or yep. Uh, my phone number is eight one three seven zero four zero seven five seven. You can call or you can go to the website and uh, um, you know place your order on the website or call us directly and we can take your order. Or um, you can also email me at uh, equalizerbowling at yahoo.com. So. We deal with everybody on multiple levels, and we're also on Facebook. Oh, obviously, that's <laughs> how everybody you. finds everybody. Ex nowadays. Absolutely, that's how I found you guys, yeah. and vice versa. <laughs> right now, uh, obviously, we were talking about different wheels, different cups, different wraps. When people order one of these, is it kind of like ordering from a menu? I want this and this and this. Yep, you can either get. Uh, we have three different kinds. Um, you can get. The stock version, which has um, a custom, you know our, our own wrap on it, kind mm -hmm. of you know giving our shout out there. Um, 
and then you have the anodized version, and then you have the custom wrap. So in the custom version, you can order different color cups. You can you know choose from um, a variety of wraps. You know different grips. You know all, you can basically build your own. Design it. Yeah. Like you're ordering a new car. Exactly. Put everyone on it specific, special. Exactly. And it'd be great for organizations or teams, mm -hmm. and they have leagues going together, and they all have it. And Schools. It might be, uh, be interesting to have leagues. Everybody on the team has to be using this. Or at least one. You know, we didn't really want to, we, when we were trying to figure out how to approach leagues and get into that game, you know, we were trying to set up our own league. And then it dawned on me, that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to bowl with everybody else. That's the, why the name is called the Equalizer. We equalize the playing field. Now I can take this and I can play with you guys. I can compete with you guys. You know, if you can hold the ball, I'm going to be right there with you competing and, you know, scoring my strikes. And, you know, so it's not so much our own leagues. We want to we wanna be a part of the already existing leagues. You know, that's, that's taking somebody who is disabled or handicapped and give them, giving them equality. I can see that happening, but I can also see the other thing. Mm -hmm. As Bill, you know, people in competitive, they, have, they used to have uh, plastic ball leagues. Everybody had to throw a plastic ball. Mm -hmm. You know, you're leveling the playing field. It's another challenge for bowlers. Yeah. An equalizer tournament. Yeah. Let alone the league. Absolutely. I can see it. You know, just make, I just wanted to make sure that the equality is there first. You now, the, the base model, uh, prices? They start out at one thirty nine ninety five, and they're manufactured in Dover, Florida, and uh, American made. They always will be. So um, they start out at one thirty nine ninety five, and the custom ones, depending on how far you go, whether it be LED lights, you know, glow in the dark cups, and stuff like that, um, up to one eighty nine ninety nine. So really, the price of a mid performance bowling ball. Basically, yeah. So when you think, oh my God, that much. But you're going to pay that on a bowling ball. So right. if you haven't been able to bowl, there's the way to get back in, and you can even use a house ball if you want to on it then. That's right. What about the cosmic bowl? Any type of additive to put on it for glow in the dark and how they have it? With yep. the lights, you have light all set up too? Absolutely. We, uh, our next batch is uh, all of them from now on are going to have a, uh, a fluorescent reactive chemical in them. So all the cups are going to glow in the dark regardless of their color. Um, and you can get wheels with LED lights in them, you can get stickers with that, that glow in the dark, you can just go nuts with it, you know, but at least all the cups are going to glow in the dark, so you'll see us. So for a bowling center that wants to have one that's afraid, oh, they're going to walk on me, they can get a wrap with their bowling center logos on it, well, and they well, know where it came from. Right, exactly, and not only that, but just like with uh, shooting pool. You know, they take your license. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, so when Same you thing, yeah. it, exactly. So they there's a couple of things that they can do uh, to ensure that they make it back behind the counter for the next person. Fantastic. Well, listen, we appreciate you coming on. And what's the going to be the website again? And we'll get a link up on ours for that. It's going to be Equalizer Bowling uh, at or AP at or AP.com. Sorry, a little nervous. <laughs> okay. Equalizer. Equalizer Bowling AP.com. Fantastic. Well, we appreciate you coming in. Yeah. Thank uh, you. Glad we found the product, glad you could make it in, and maybe we can get you hooked up with John Jameson and he can help with distribution a little bit even. That would be great. Anything we can do to help the bowling community, that's what it's all about for us. Fantastic. Okay, let's go ahead and take a quick break, and we're going to be back with Randy 